Hello, Mr. P here. I hope you are well. Now, this video is going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to make the most out of the website teachmeai.com. Now, for anyone who's never used TeachMate or for those of you who have subscribed but haven't really used it over the summer holidays, which I completely understand, the summer holidays are there to switch off, recharge. You'll have noticed there's been a number of significant changes and updates to hopefully give you a better all-round experience. It's quicker, it's slicker, and I think it looks a lot better. So this video is gonna go through all those changes and how you can get the best out of TeachMate AI. But first and foremost, I want to talk through what TeachMate AI is and how it works. Now you might want to fast forward this if you're already on board with that, but I know with a lot of teachers, there's a little bit of skepticism around all this new AI stuff. So TeachMate AI harnesses language-based AI models for teachers to help them with lots of different admin tasks. I believe, we believe as a team, that teachers can be effective classroom practitioners and have a decent work-life balance. However, for a lot of teachers, that seems impossible when our education system expects so much workload from us. We believe that well-being starts with workload. And so these tools are set up to help you save time. And we're already seeing that teachers are saving on average over 10 hours a week using TeachMate. So you can then utilize that time however you see fit. We hope that teachers can first and foremost then focus on the most important aspect of their job, which is the teaching, but then also have time to switch off and be able to then become the best classroom practitioners when they're in class with their pupils. Now, without getting too technical, I want to explain how language-based AI works through an analogy using Lego. So I want you to imagine that every time you ask TeachMate to do something for you, whether it's write a report, write a lesson plan, do a progression document, whatever it might be, I want you to imagine it's effectively asking the AI to build a Lego model. Now, the AI has access to billions of Lego bricks to choose from to build this model. However, they're not actual bricks. What they will be are words and phrases from a database of pretty much anything that's ever been published on the internet. And so the AI starts to build a model by picking up bricks, going, yeah, that'll fit. Yeah, that will fit. No, that's not gonna fit. Let's get rid of that. It might change Lego bricks for others as it goes through until it builds what it considers is the best possible answer. The only difference is the AI does it at the speed of line. And it also means that on occasion, the AI doesn't always get things spot on. So this is where we're always having to use our own teacher judgment and we're, why we... Now there is the rare occasion where the AI doesn't quite get things spot on. So this is why we always need to use our professional judgment. The AI can do some of the heavy lifting, but we'll always need to evaluate and check it. But we can help the AI by being specific in our inputs, but then also checking. And if anything doesn't seem right, we can regenerate and give it another go. But let's now jump into TeachMate and let's have a look at this new design. So when you go to teachmateai.com, you will see that the homepage again has been stripped back, just made a little bit easier to navigate. So in the top right hand corner, you can either sign up if you've not got an account or you can log in. Now the first time that you log in, a screen will appear that will ask you whereabouts in the world you're based and what curriculum you follow. Now you can change that in your account. So if you go to my account, this is where you can change the country you live in and then you can choose from the curriculum. So we've been able to fine tune the AI to reference the curriculum you follow with certain tools. So lesson planning tools, for example, will refer directly to the curriculum that you're following. So once you do that once in my account, it will stay as that default curriculum all the way through. Also in my account is where you can obviously update your subscription, cancel your subscription, anything like that. Now, if you take a look at the dashboard, you will see here that we've got your top tools, your favorite tools. So with each tool, you can favorite them so they're easier to access. We're also building in how many hours you have saved using the different tools as well. So you're always seeing how much this tool is helping with a lot of your admin tasks. Obviously, there are whole school accounts as well if you do want to upgrade. We find a lot of schools now, rather than having sort of well-being staff meetings, they're subscribing their staff to the website and then staff are able to save so much time and then whatever it is that helps them with their well-being, they've got the time to actually do it. Let's just jump into the tools option at the top. 
you will see some of the most popular tools first of all. But if you then go into view all tools, this is where you will now see the 80 plus tools available. Now obviously you can search through, so if you want to filter, if you're looking at reports, if you're looking at planning, if you're looking at tools to support writing, whatever it might be, engagement, if you're looking at assessment, all the tools are there. So let's say we want to look at planning for example, and I go into the lesson planner tool. So straight away, it will load the curriculum that I've set in my account. I can put the learning objective, lesson objective, make sure that's as specific as possible. Okay, so if I do, I know how to use fronted adverbials. Okay, I can then choose my year group. So I'm gonna put year four, and then I can tap create lesson plan. So that will now take a few seconds as the AI is building my little Lego structure, my lesson plan. And obviously we have harnessed this with as much detail as possible so it's sort of minimal input for you to get the best output with these tools and like I say within a matter of seconds we should then get our lesson plan and you'll also see now the output there's been a massive improvement in the formatting of the output and that's the same when you download it as a word doc so again let's just give it a few seconds and here we are we've got our lesson plan in here our Learn objective, prior knowledge, obviously your input, the activity, and all the other information. So you can then copy that to clipboard if you want to post, paste it in your own planning pro forma, or if you download it as a Word doc, we can then open it up. And again, you can see it's really nicely formatted here as well. Like I say, it's really important that you check everything. If something isn't quite right, uh, we'd ask you to sort of regenerate it again, but majority of the time it's then going to set and you can see it's then updated the amount of time, uh, time it saved me. Um, and yeah, you've got all those other tools to use. There's a free account you can create as well where you get access to a handful of these tools. Um, Now if, there are t now, if there are tools that you are gonna use quite frequently, like the comprehension text and question generator here, what you might want to do is add it as a favorite. Now, when you add it as a favorite, when you go to your dashboard, you will see that your favorite tools are now appearing here. So you've got your most common used tools and your favorite tools there. The comprehension generator is absolutely brilliant. Again, it links to the curriculum. You can choose your length, so let's say I go 150 words on Manchester United. And what's great about that is you can make it bespoke. So if there's a local history topic that you're looking at, whatever it might be, you just want to do a comprehension text or lesson on something that's a little bit more fun and engaging for the pupils. Obviously you can choose the reading focuses all taken from the latest educational research. Um, again, let's put it year five, say, and then create comprehension. We'll just let that run through. So again, we now have our comprehension text here. We have got our questions, including greater depth answers, to which we can then download as a Word document there as well. So hopefully there you've been able to see some of the exciting updates over the summer, how quick, slick, and easy it is to use so that you can now make the most out of this website as I said before, we believe that well-being starts with workload. We know that this tool is helping so many teachers and hopefully this video is going to help you make the most out of it so you can then go and save that time as well.